today we're going to be going over amniotic membrane placement and usage for the treatment of superficial punctate keratitis secondary to long-term dry eye. Uh, Ms. Howard is one of my long-term patients. She's been with us for a long time and Ms. Howard has graciously uh, said she would be happy to uh, be our test subject today and what we're going to do is we're going to use one of our amniotic membranes that we use a lot of and the way that we do this that I've worked over the last couple of years is a little bit different than most clinics do. Uh, I do not like to place the membrane directly on the eye. I have not had the best of results with that. What I do is I remove the uh, bandage contact lens, place it on my little foil wrapper right here. This is after we have cleaned our hands and also gotten the patient uh, prepared uh, by putting two drops of anesthesia in the eye, one in each eye, so that they're comfortable. Uh, then they, we will then uh, remove our membrane from the packet. Right now what we're gonna do is prep the membrane for placement in the contact. I just cut my package open, uh, keeping my finger on the membrane. It's a very expensive mistake when that membrane flies out. You don't wanna do it but once. So now I'm prepared to go. We'll just take it out of the package. Now we're ready to go. So once we now have it ready to go, make sure that you are very careful. It will fly out and it will float around and that is a very expensive mistake. I've had that happen before. So now we will just remove it from the little foil envelope. Again, being very careful. Now, now that we have it, it's ready to go and I will just place it into the uh, bandage contact lens. I put it on the spot that's going to be inferior on the patient's eye. And now we're prepared to place the uh, bandage contact lens with the amniotic membrane in the patient's eye. Now that we're prepared, and again, Ms. Howard is anesthetized, and what we're gonna do is have the patient look at the floor for me, please, ma'am. I'm gonna raise her lid, place the bandage lens, look down Ms. Howard, place the lens on the eye, Look up, sweetheart. Close your eyes. Keep them closed for me. And now we're gonna let the patient sit for about five minutes. That lets the lens become uh, nice and lubricated. It's stuck to the contact lens, which is where we want it. Uh, at this time, I will be giving the patient instructions to use non-preserved artificial tears, which we provide a little five pack of uh, every 30 minutes. That gives them eight drops per vial, 40 drops or 20 hour time span. Uh, we also give the patient our card to call in case of an emergency. I have not had any patients call for emergency. Uh, the one thing that I do uh, tell the patient is you will feel the contact, okay? Miss uh, Janie, you will feel it. It will not hurt, but it will irritate. The more that you use the drops, the better that it will feel. The problem we're dealing with is dry eye, so you don't have a lot of tears, okay? So we have to add them about every half hour. Uh, and that has worked really well for us, and we'll bring her back and. 24 to 48 hours and remove the contact lens.